What is going on guys welcome back to another video of sorts application development series in android studio. In last video we have successfully designed the sign up screen and also we have run the application so that we can see the sign up screen in our application. We have added edit text to input the email address, password, confirm password and also the sign up button over here. In this video we are going to connect firebase to our android studio project so that we can sign up and log in to our application. To automatically connect from the Android Studio, we have the option over here. If you go to Tools in Android Studio, you can see Firebase over here. You can click on that Firebase button. It will open the Assistant over here. And you can select the Firebase. We will be using Authentication at first. So let's click on Authentication. And here you can see we have lots of Authentication. We are not doing anything. Let's just click any one of them. Let's say Custom Authentication System. And let's connect to Firebase. Click on connect to Firebase. It will launch our application in the browser. So we have to log in with our Gmail account. Let's add project. So it will automatically detect the project name that is our mini clip. Click on continue. You can change the name also. And here you can enable Google Analytics. I will disable it for now. Click on create project. So our project is ready. Click on continue. Now click on connect, click on send. So you can see it is connected to our Firebase Android app. Get back to the project. You can see over here it is connected now. Now we have to add Firebase authentication SDK. Click on this, click on accept changes. It will add the authentication. Can close this assistant now. Let's go to Firebase console. Select the project that is mini clip. Here we have to enable the authentication. So go to build, authentication, click on get started and in the sign in method we will click on add new provider and we will use email and password. You can use phone also, Google, Facebook but for this project simplicity we are using email and password. Click on this, enable this. So here you can see passwordless sign in that we are not enabling as of now. Click on save. So in this way for our sign in method email and password is now enabled. Let's get back to the project. So if you go to gradle script and check build at gradle here it is added google services and some dependency that is firebase authentication and if you go to project level build at gradle also google services are added. Now we can use firebase in our application. So this video was just for connecting firebase to our application. In next video we will create account using email and password. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries please comment below I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you on the next video. Bye bye.